Francois Marie Arouet, known by his nom de plume, Voltaire. He was a French philosopher, Enlightenment writer, and historian, famous for his wit, his attacks on the established Catholic Church, and his advocacy of freedom of religion, freedom of speech, and separation of church and state. He was an outspoken advocate of civil liberties, despite the risk this placed him under the strict censorship laws of the time. He frequently made use of his works to criticise intolerance, religious dogma, and the French institutions of his day. Because of his well-known criticism of the church, which he had refused to retract before his death, Voltaire was denied a Christian burial in Paris. On the 11th of July, 1791, he was enshrined in the Pantheon after the National Assembly of France, which regarded him as a forerunner of the French Revolution. So outspoken was Voltaire's opinion of the Christian Bible, his statements on religion also brought down on him the fury of the Jesuits, and in particular Claude Adrien Nonet. Voltaire's view of Christianity was an unfavourable one, quote, that instead of being a merciful, ameliorating and benignant visitation, the religion of Christians would rather seem to be a scourge sent on man by the author of all evil. And when you come to realise that the Catholic Church of the Papacy is the Antichrist, this quote makes perfect sense. However, it is Voltaire's views on Judaism that I want to bring your attention to. According to Orthodox Rabbi Joseph Telushkin, the most significant of Enlightenment hostility against Judaism was found in Voltaire. 30 of the 118 articles in his Dictionary of Philosophy dealt with the Jews and described them in consistently negative ways. Bertram Schwarzbach's far more detailed studies of Voltaire's dealings with Jewish people throughout his life concluded that he was anti-biblical, not anti-Semitic. His remarks on the Jews and their superstitions were essentially no different from his remarks on Christians. Telushkin states that Voltaire did not limit his attack to aspects of Judaism that Christianity used as a foundation, making it repeatedly clear that he despised Jews. Some authors link Voltaire's anti-Judaism to his polygenism. According to Jox Azarmendi, this anti-Judaism has relative importance in Voltaire's philosophy of history. However, Voltaire's anti-Judaism influences later authors like Ernest Renan. As stated by Durant, Voltaire had praised the simplicity, sobriety, regularity and the industry of Jews. However, subsequently, Voltaire had become strongly anti-Semitic after some regrettable personal financial transactions and quarrels with Jewish financiers. So we find that Voltaire had a problem with Jewish bankers. The anti-Semitic passages in Voltaire's Dictionary Philosophy were criticised by Isaac Pinto in 1762. Subsequently, Voltaire agreed with the criticism of his anti-Semitic views and stated that he had been wrong to attribute to a whole nation the vices of some individuals. He also promised to revise the objectionable passages for forthcoming editions, but failed to do so. So let's take a step backwards for a moment. Now who is Ernest Renan? Joseph Ernest Renan was a French expert of Semitic languages and civilizations. A philosopher, Renan is credited as being among the first scholars to advance the Khazar theory, which held that Ashkenazi Jews were descendants of the Khazars. The Khazars are a Turkic people who had adopted Jewish religion and migrated to Western Europe following the collapse of their Khanate. Renan believed that racial characteristics were instinctual and deterministic. He has been criticised for his anti-Semitic claims that the Semitic race is inferior 
to the Aryan race, Renan claimed that the Semitic mind was limited by dogmatism and lacked a cosmopolitan conception of civilization. For Renan, Semites were an incomplete race. Some authors argue that Renan developed his anti-Semitism from Voltaire's anti-Judaism. However, he did not regard the Ashkenazi Jews of Europe as being a Semitic people. Renan is credited with launching the so-called Khazar theory. This theory states that Ashkenazim had their origin in Turkic refugees that had converted to Judaism and later migrated westward into the Rhineland and exchanged their native Khazar language for the Yiddish language while continuing to practice the Jewish religion. In his 1883 lecture, he disputed the concept that Jewish people constitute a unified racial entity in a biological sense, which made his views unpalatable with racial anti-Semitism. Bear in mind that this was also during a time where science did not have the capacity to determine DNA or the biology of any race for that matter. So let's take it back to the original quote at the beginning of the video. To learn who rules over you, simply find out who you are not allowed to criticise. Now this quote is used often among those who are convinced that there is the Zionist Jew world order. So the premise is, whoever you are not allowed to criticise, they are the ones that rules over you. Now the reasoning behind this is that you cannot criticise Jews, therefore the Jews are ruling the world. Which is just simply not the case, as you spend any amount of time online, all you will hear is uh, talk against the Jews, hatred for the Jews, and it's basically, it revolves around this Khazar theory. That being said, the quote itself is not Voltaire. Dr Paul Gibbard of the University of Western Australia one of the world's leading experts in Voltaire, who worked as a researcher at the Voltaire Foundation in Oxford, said it was one of many that were falsely attributed to the writer. Quote, There are lots of quotations that are attributed to Voltaire that aren't actually by him, and that's one of them. Voltaire has been copied and imitated ever since he produced his first writings. If you put Voltaire's name to it, it certainly has much more authority than if it was just your own quotations. But in terms of its spirit, the quotation was not unvoltarian, in that it captured his resistance to authority. So even though it's not by Voltaire, you can see why people might think it was. End quote. So it captured his resistance to authority, but here's the thing. When Voltaire was alive, it was not Jews who were in control, just the same as it's not today. Who was in control of the entire world? at least the known world, that would be the Catholic Church. So Voltaire was anti-authority, it was directed to the Catholic Church, because they are the ones that are in control. The suspected source of the quote is Kevin Strom's 1993 essay all America must know the terror that is upon us. And a quote, To determine the true rulers of any society, all you must do is ask yourself this question, Who is it that I am not permitted to criticise? So who is Kevin Strom? Kevin Strom is a white nationalist, neo-Nazi, holocaust denier, and associate editor of National Vanguard. In 2008, Strom pleaded guilty to possession of child pornography and was sentenced to 23 months in prison, of which he served 4 months. So the purpose of this video was to show you the mindset of the origins of the Khazar theory, because through Voltaire and Ernest Renan, you can see that these people had a mindset that can only truly be described as Antichrist. And in my next video, we're going to see if the Khazar theory really holds up to scrutiny.